Have you ever gone on a hike and gotten a tick stuck in you? <laughs> I've had about four ticks on me that I've seen. Three I was able to brush off. One has actually hit its mark and latched onto me. Let's just see. Right there. So this tick has injected something and it's not just causing a redness around the bite site. It actually is uh, stinging. It's like a burning sensation. Definitely not pleasant. I think this part of my you know, skin, the collarbone skin, I think it's a little bit more softer. Very easy for it to actually start doing its drilling operation into, into it. Looking forward to getting this little critter out. So this is one of five ticks on my upper body after a recent hike in southeast Queensland. Now straight off the bat, I'll tell you the best product to use to get rid of ticks is something like this. Uh, this is Medifreeze Tick Off Spray. It costs around $25, it's great value for money. It's very easy to use to get these little critters out. The way you use this is you spray this free spray on top of the tick, basically freezes up and dies and it becomes much more easier to pull out. Sometimes if you're lucky, it will just fall out on its own. If they don't, you'll need to carefully retract them out with some pointy nose tweezers. However, in my case, I did not have this handy uh, tick free spray nearby so my go-to is vinegar and in this video I'll show you how I remove ticks from my body just using simple home vinegar. And the idea of using this is that it should try drowning it and hopefully loosen its uh, latching arms on me. So basically what I'm going to do is just douse the little critter with just home vinegar, just drown it. So you may have to hold it on for about, you know, 5, 10, 15 minutes and just hold it there until it looks like it's uh, gone to sleep. I don't recommend doing this, okay, You're just using a cotton tip bud with vinegar on it. You're just sort of agitating it and you don't want to do that. You want to actually douse it, just saturate the thing with like a bit of a bigger patch. If you do this, if you're just toying around with it, it'll release more pathogens into you and create more of a reaction. So once again, just douse it and just keep it covered for a number of minutes. Now, if you think it's ready to pull out, you're going to be getting some long nose tweezers like this and go as close to the skin as you can to pull it out. If it's not fully drowned out, it's not going to pull out. It's going to latch in there like here. So make sure you've drowned it good with your vinegar. So back into it we go. Just should be just leaving that patch on, not dabbing it here and there. Just leave it on. And you see this one up on my back. I've got five of these up on my skin. Okay, it's in there pretty good. This isn't the worst one, but just have a little look here. My wife's going to get some tweezers here and you go down low to the skin. You don't want to squeeze the body. You don't want to squeeze in any pathogens into your skin or risk doing that. And uh, if you've done it right, if you drowned it, you'll still, it's still moving, but it will be much easier to pull out, just like that. Check it out. Hey there, little fella. Look, I can't stress enough, use a product like Megifreeze to get ticks off, but if you don't have it, this is another option. And I just wanted to show this to you because I think it's uh, you know, quite interesting and fascinating to see how these things come out. Now this is, <laughs> this is the bad boy. This one's in probably the deepest out of all of them. Yeah, this one's a nasty one. Now I want to point out here, I made a mistake on my drive home when I first identified I had a tick. I thought I could just literally just pull it out. And what I did was I effectively squeezed its body and it put in all its good juice, all its pathogens into me. And you can see the blotchy red skin there. I'm being... Um, you know, infected a bit. Now my wife's grabbing it as low as possible. Do you see how it squeezed out its its legs? It's going to come out now. It, and out it goes. But the redness there is not from my wife squeezing it. The redness there is because I squeezed it with my fingers on my way home. And I should not have done that. That one was nasty. That was one that was actually causing me a bit of pain. Look, even after dousing it, it's uh, still moving around. I kind of thought it was dead. 
And look, once again, you can see this thing is just alive, moving fine. Keep it as a peg if you want to, but the vinegar sort of drowned it to the point where we could pull it out. But as you could see, it was still in there pretty good. So use a product like Maggi Freeze or a tick spray if you've got it. I'm just showing you a home remedy that worked for me. Now in a moment, we'll be putting this along with its family uh, into a bowl of vinegar and it dies very quickly soon mm -hmm. after. Just showing you a size comparison here. The bush tick, not a pleasant fellow to have on your travels. Join his family. Yeah, there you go, mate. Thanks for coming along and visiting. Now go to Tick Heaven. And what I'll just show you quickly, just before finishing this video, is three days later what my front collarbone area looked like. Hey, I'm not showing you anything pretty, but realistically, it's good to be aware that a reaction occurred because I actually squeezed in the pathogen into my skin. This is what it looks like three days later. It puffed up and I highly recommend, you know, if you do get bitten by a tick, go and see a doctor. Go and uh, get some medical attention if necessary. Every one of us reacts in different ways. This puffed up. I'm fine now and it's all healed up. It only lasted for about a week, but this is what it may look like. Thanks for watching the video, catch you on the next one.